Okay, we just did the parametric equalizer, and I wanted to show you that that effect, it, um, these all these effects can be um, conducted down here. So, and I can toggle that effect on and off now. I can put it back on, I can take it off. Again, we're in multi-track mode, so it's not destructive. I could create another effect onto the same track here choosing you know amplitude and compression and filter and eq and some i could put effects on here like reverb noise reduction i'm going to talk about those uh, in future videos and in class uh, but i just wanted you to see that you know we've been going up here to the menu to choose our effects however you can also manipulate them in here and create them in there I think in this video, what I wanted to show is some just practical moving around in the user interface. Um, this stuff can get like really confusing. Um, but I am just simply, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a trackpad guy, not a mouse guy. I know. Uh, so I'm using my trackpad to scroll through the timeline here and get to different parts of the audio files. However, I can simply go up to my keyboard and hit the equal key and zoom right in. Uh, conversely, if I hit the minus key, I can zoom right out and see the entire project. This is, I think she did a nine minute track for me. Yeah, 10 minute track, something like that. This ends up being like about an eight minute podcast, by the way. That I do for her but now I can see the whole project here or I can drill in you know there's other ways to do this this is this is the way I do it we can discover these things in class together um, another thing that we can do here is move these tracks physically move them so if I want to butt this up closer to the audio track here I'm just going to bring that down a little bit Thank you for joining me. You know, if I want to bring it further away, I'm just grabbing that track itself and moving it. So these are all, oh, by the way, I just did that by accident. You can move it to a different track if you want as well. So just how, know how to manipulate these things is, is a really useful skill. Again, I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to take a look at this breath right here. I'm your, I'm your host, Dr. Tammy Chang. PD and this lip smack. PDF. PDF. P uh, as a matter of fact, I could highlight that and just play it over and over. Pediatric. Oh. I there is a way to just grab that and play it over and repeatedly. But if I want to get all those out, which sometimes I do, and, and breaths is a, it's a big issue. Do you leave the breaths in? Do you take the breaths out? We compress this file. So some of those lower uh, sounds in her voice are now amplified. I could simply delete this. Women physicians. I'm your host, Dr. Tammy Chang. P and again, I don't like that lip noise. Positions. I'm your host, Dr. Tammy Chang, pediatric. So I got rid of the breath. I got rid of the thing. Now it's nine minutes long. Some of my clients give me 30 minute episodes to edit. So I do this sometimes. I do it in audacity a lot. I silence every breath. I silence every click, every mouth click. Not necessary. It's not absolutely necessary. There's a whole bunch of camps out there that'll say you should do it for for the best production and this whole other people that will say I want it to sound natural and I want it to flow so it's totally up to you as a creator what you do here I have a lot of clients that want their breaths out and they want the lip smacks out and all that stuff so I do it that's what I do that's what I get paid for I'm your host Dr. Tammy Chang pediatric human now remember this was non-destructive so I can pull that back in if I want to just a reminder that it's non-destructive. And I think I'll stop there on this one.